morning everyone welcome to my last week in london can't believe it's already here um but we are headed off to go around i think like the shortage spittle fields um in hoxton area today so east london um i'm really excited just to enjoy the weather it's finally short sleeve weather here which is pretty crazy um and really beautiful and sunny so yeah, let's go out. Um, first stop is going to be a chai latte from Belle and Viv, which is a place near um, my dorm that I think is the best chai latte I've ever had in my entire life. Um, for more cafe recs, check out my Instagram. So let's go get this chai.
thing. You know, like it always feels so Hi everyone. Um, it is currently Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon. I just had lunch with Salam for the last time and I think I'm about to head out to go and try and find a jelly cat um, stuffed animal. You'll see, you'll understand when you see it. Um, I will show you guys, but they have like some really funny ones, I think called amusables and they're just like food things and like random like objects that are really cute like stuffed animals i'm gonna try and find one that i particularly want um and then i think we're gonna go and get some tea and scones um just do it real british for today and then uh, yeah i think i'm gonna see one more friend in a park later tonight um which i'm excited for it's kind of like the days of just saying goodbye to people here um which is very sad but and bittersweet but also hopefully i will see everyone soon i'm definitely feeling a little exhausted in the sense of like i feel like just because of the last couple of days i'm trying to do everything i can trying to make sure i'm like outside as much as possible but also that is kind of like it takes away from my energy and um like my time to pack and stuff so i'm trying to find a good balance but even though i'm a little tired hopefully some tea will help me um feel awake again and yeah so let's head out into another beautiful sunny day in london <laughs> Hi everyone, it is my last, last morning in London. Um, my voice sounds so unwell because I stayed up quite late us yesterday spending some time with my roommates um, or like my flatmates um, for the last time. And yeah, this morning I have just woken up. Um, I'm feeling quite anxious just because I haven't packed a lot of stuff. Um, so I, I just feel like it's the day before a lot of travel and um also the last day that i feel like i have and like i feel like i need to do a lot of things because my last day here um but trying to take off the pressure and yeah i'm having some miso soup um that my friend just gave me and um trying to process uh everything ending for this school year yeah i feel like um compared to paris i probably didn't talk about London as much on my vlogs. Um, I think it was much more like, oh, I'm just studying, like this is my student life here. Um, but I kind of wanted to take this time and just 
say that I was really, really grateful for this semester. Um, and I think in the end, um, it ended up being one of my, you know, best semesters in college. Um, and it was really, really filled with so much happiness um, and friendship and joy and new places, new foods just new experiences that I, I felt really grateful for. I think because London feels to me a little bit more familiar because it speaks English, um, you know, it's an Anglophone country and also there's so many different types of people. So I never felt really like an outsider um, to like London, if not, I mean, maybe not the UK, but London especially is just such an international and diverse city. Um, and I feel like I really appreciated just it's my how I felt here um, which is that I feel like for me the city has felt relatively very calm um, and walkable and um, I've really appreciated just having so many things near me like um, museums and exhibits and parks and cafes and just all sorts of things that I really enjoy so yeah I'm really grateful that I've was able to access all of these things in one place. I think it's one of my, uh, I would say, I don't know, maybe, I guess I would never know a city this well unless I lived there for a while. So, so far it's been one of my favorite cities. I think it makes it a little harder to leave, um, especially after what it feels like it's only been like a week since my last exam. But actually, I feel like the biggest thing about this semester that I really didn't see coming, um, especially because I sort of let down my hopes after her last semester in Paris, um, was sort of like finding so many incredible friends and people. Um, I think in Paris, because we are more isolated as American sort of exchange students, and it's a little harder to um, you know interact with people in a language you're less familiar with and things like that. I felt very isolated, um, except for the people who are also in my program and Gaia, who um, you guys know well, but I feel like here, because everyone just um, communicates in English and luckily that is like my most comfortable language. I feel like I was able to forge friendships with so many people. Um, also because here I was living not in a homestay but um, alone in a dorm with other roommates um, who share like a living space and also all of the other exchange students and friends like live in this dorm as well so it's just so easy to um, sort of make dinner together um, hang out together and I feel like it made mundane life feel much more full I talked about this in my last vlog probably um, but I definitely got lonely here um, especially in the first couple of months but I think especially um, as it got to later in the semester I was more looking forward to just seeing all my friends um, and it's kind of sad to me that a lot of them will, uh, are scattering um, across the world. Actually, none of them are uh, near me in Princeton. Um, and so I wonder if I'll be able to make some trips to see them or um, I guess it's just sort of like what is going to bring us together again. Um, but I think I know that eventually somewhere, somehow, um, I will see the people who matter to me. Um, and yeah, I wonder if also because we were all sort of collectively going through a, a new experience in a difficult time, if we all bonded more because of that. Um, and I think that feels really special because really the only people who understand maybe what this experience was like in the specificity of like going to SOAS and living here and things like that um, are those other friends. So uh, I feel really grateful for that and I think it makes me a little sadder to leave. Other than that, uh, it's very, I don't really have much time to get sentimental because I have to pack. Um, so I think I'm going to spend the morning packing and we'll see what we get up to today in my last day in London. I'm gonna try and take off the pressure, but as it has been for the past week, the weather is beautiful. So hopefully we'll be able to just enjoy some last sights. Um, and then tomorrow morning I am off to Austin. So um, yeah, I think I'll say something maybe when I get back home but thank you so much for watching um, and coming with me, being a part of my London life. Um, and yeah, let's go enjoy the last day.
Hi everyone, it is my last night in London and I uh, had a really great last day. Um, there are definitely some really anxious moments. Uh, I think it's always hard when you have to like pack and clean and also process that you're leaving somewhere, obviously. Um, but overall, I think everything is done. Um, we're all packed. I'm just gonna pray that my bags are not overweight, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, and yeah, my flight is tomorrow morning. Um, thank you so much for coming along uh, with the whole journey. Um, for those of you who is like London, thank you. Uh, for those of you who have stayed since Paris, thank you. If there's anyone who's been there longer, thank you so much. Um, just everyone who's stayed with me this whole year um, and it has been crazy and at times stressful, um, but I am so grateful for everything and so lucky to have had this experience. And yeah, now we go back to reality. Um, I will see you guys when I get back home um, and have some summer stuff lined up. Um, I'm doing an internship, so uh, probably just like some internship vlogs um, in, in New York City and things like that. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, I'm gonna sign off here. This is London so far. Um, and hopefully I'll be back sometime soon. Good night. Thanks.